Well, hello there, guys. My name's Mikey, and let's take a look at the Season 2 trailer for The Witcher. So, I'm your destiny? You're much more than that, Cirilla. I need to understand some things. The world is changing. Sentra isn't safe for you anymore. Mm. What exactly is care we're in? Your home. Finally. Who the hell are you? Sometimes I feel so afraid. I feel like I could burn the whole world. Facing your fear is not easy. But I am here for you. When I say run, you run. When I say hide, we have to stay. You hide. Run! Vesemir said that the world outside these walls. It's a dangerous place, but you can find power and purpose. Where is she? What if your prince is more than you barking for? Are you sure you're ready for this? Ooh. Welcome back. Yo, yo, wait, is there a cartoon of a nightmare of the wolf fits into the Witcher timeline? So guys, what are you thinking so far? I quite enjoyed the first Witcher. Um, I have read the books. I remember them okay. It's been a bit of a while since I read through them, but I remember that the first Witcher covered a number of uh, um, short story stuff, I think. This season obviously has Siri, who's growing up a bit as an actress, um, training in. Uh, did he call it? Wait, am I thinking of Came Lynn? No, everything I everything I think of keeps going back to the Wheel of Time. Kaya Morhen, um, and obviously now she's kind of uh, working in Geralt's shadow. Now in the books, Geralt rejects her. I think on three different occasions, he has like fate keeps bringing them together, and he has three different opportunities to kind of adopt her. Um, and he rejects them each time. And then eventually, like, you know, it all comes together. I think in the uh, season one, it kind of like, he sort of rejects her once. He has a missed opportunity with her when she's in the castle with her mother. And obviously there's all that stuff they did in a really early episode before she was born, where like he actually gets the rights to the the thing you didn't know you had, so to speak. Um, in the books, when she trains with him in Kaer Morhen, uh, he's really bad. <laughs> he's like... He's really cool. Geralt of Rivia is a really cool witcher. He's one of the strongest and best. But, like, he's got no idea on how to bring up a kid or look after her. So, like, they have to bring in the witches <laughs> to, like, actually take care of her. Yo, when are we getting a Vesemir movie? So, is that being confirmed? That Mark Hamill is playing Vesemir? Is that actually a thing or is that all internet hearsay? Uh, I like Siri in the game better. This one's a bit more delicate. Well, she does start off a bit delicate, remind like, when she comes out of her Kaya Morhen training, she's a lot tougher, and the Kaya Morhen training happens, and then Ciri uh, goes for an entire story arc, which, if I had to guess, would be season three. Ciri goes for an entire story arc, no spoilers, but, like, she falls in with a really bad crowd, and she becomes not necessarily a nice person, and trains in a very horrible way. Like, it really, it really kicks off. Stuff really happens. Uh, I don't want dating emo Siri. I want tough Siri. Yeah, what will happen at the end of this season? Wait, the Vesemir movie is already out. Nightmare of a Wolf is a Vesemir movie. Oh, so it's an animation. Is that what you're saying? That's what that animation link was. Came out in August. Ooh, okay. Well, we'll check that out on Netflix. You guys, we'll do a watch along with subs in my Discord. Um, So what's going on here? We've got a few bits. Let's have a little quick I look. need to understand something. They're, they're both very attractive. Yes, I, I would. Yes, I things. would. 
say for you any People are still coming after her. Uh, we've got the different witches. So this is all one school. Um, but very few witches come back to do the entire winter. And to be fair, the whole hold is a bit like, you know... There was a there was like a pogrom, wasn't there? I think like a, there's a backstory where a wizard turned an, turned the entire people in the local area against the witches. Like, just to attack them. Like, I don't know if it was a grievance. And so, like, many, many people died. And a lot of the witches died as well. So, like, there was a horrible event that really felled their numbers. That's just dwindled the whole witcher vibe. But it's kind of the end of an age. And the whole world is dying as it is. Classic witcher free training posts. Lovely pretty daggers. Milky daggers from the books. Lambert. 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 Uh, anyway, Michael's been asking that for years. What, about uh, about Nightmare of a Wolf? No, you've never mentioned that once in your life, Michael. Who's Michael? I don't know anyone. Bill, welcome in. Yeah, we've just been looking at the season two trailer. Now, these swords here, if I had to guess, were provided by the official Kea Morhen Forge. There is an official licensed Witcher Kea Morhen Forge, which makes these blades, and they make them battle ready. And I am on a waiting list... I think I'm still two years into the waiting list to having a pair of Witcher swords made by the official group. Burn the whole world. It's like one dude, but I need to send him. I'm going to send him an email tonight to make sure that he remembers I'm on his list. When I say run, I'm just trying to see if I recognize any of the stories in the book that this might be from. When I say hide, we have to stay. You hide. Because like, cause the Empire, the Imperial Empire is coming, there's a big split right down the middle of all of the wizards and witches and like what side they fall on. So there's this big internal struggle. So I'm just wondering if any of that kicks off around about here. It's a dangerous place, but you can find power and purpose. Where is she? What if you're pregnant? I love that camera shot. A rolling camera shot with a rolling actor. Always fun. What if your prince is more than you barking for? So this, I think, is familiar as well. I think this is just when Geralt goes into a house and there's a little monster guy who's cursed and he controls the whole house to scare people away. And although he's really grumpy, he's all right. There's loads of kind of like folklore, fun fairy tales. I, I say fun with a in context of the world of the witcher that is dark humor fairy tales in there and then it's the last series of books which is an ongoing witcher narrative which is uh pretty grim so i'm very much looking forward to this anyway i enjoyed the first series a lot i made the mistake of accidentally watching the last episode of season one first because i had no idea what i was doing so i was like wow this must be really hard for somebody to get into if they've not read the books. And then I was like, oh, it's the last episode. Nothing was explained. Uh, I want to know, where's the Dandelion with another banger? Ah, you don't need him. He's probably somewhere. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I think most people are. So, what are your thoughts? Best boy. Dandelion best boy. No. Toss a coin to your Witcher. Yeah, there was that one banger. And then there was that one banger remix. And then the rest was so-so. Um, everything about this seems absolutely fine. Like, I'm looking forward to it. I'm not, like, chomping at the bit. I'm pleased that they're doing it. And I look forward to watching it. That's about it. Like, a general happy, uh, nonplussed, patient wait for this to come out in December. Well, well, well. We might rewatch season one in that time. Okay, you lovely people. Thank you very much for watching along. I'll see you next time. And take care.